Hi everybody, we're back with the Vitali family. And Louis wants to talk about his chair and he's very excited to tell us about it because this wasn't possible in the old house for him to move around in a chair like this. And it's given him a very large uh, sense of independence and freedom. And he wants to share that with the viewers. So I think this is great. Louis, tell me about your chair. Well, it has wheels on it. So it can get around and, and slower and I can size and it has a headrest so I can rest my head on it has a bar. and a handlebar. Very nice. So it's kind of like you're driving a car. Or you have your own little vehicle you cruise around and in. And this kind of, he couldn't use this in that old house because it wasn't wheelchair accessible. The kitchen right. looked this, maybe the same, <laughs> except he couldn't like go through it. And now he can get around anywhere he wants to go, huh? With yeah. his power chair. And, and he couldn't really use it in the house because there wasn't... What's your favorite thing it about your wheelchair? It looks big, but it was actually yeah. really small. <laughs> okay, tell us now, Louie. What's, What's your, your favorite, favorite thing? thing? My favorite thing about it is the bell. The bell? The bell. <laughs> yeah. Why is that your favorite part? Because it makes people. It makes noise. It lets everybody know you're coming. If you want something, that's very special. No. And so I can get people out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> And he also has a mirror that used to go on there so I could see if anyone was behind him when he's backing up. That's amazing. <coughs> but that's okay. I want to ask your dad a question. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Well, because of the changes that, that were available due to the house, let us know what you're up to these days. What are you doing? What opportunities have you been able to um, create for yourself? Well, we've been, um, you know, obviously a lot has changed since the house, you know, with Louie's chair and the kids and we've been able to have uh, family move in with us to help us out and I was able to break off from my employer and start my own business and buy my own store and we've been doing that for a year now and me and Sarah worked really hard get it off the ground and now it's running really smoothly and everything's going really well. It's been a great opportunity for sure and I was also able to set up my uh, my musical equipment in the garage and I have my own little recording studio in there now which is good. So everything's... Your life just kind of opened up and once you didn't have the worry anymore of, of Louie it seems like all of your hard work and your belief and your persistence and not giving up really brought you through to the other side and and has let you flourish. And the biggest change really, and I'm, I'm sure Sarah would agree, seeing the end was, you know, the result of, you know. Wheelchair accessible house. <laughs> as a result of the wheelchair accessible <laughs> house, as Kane would say. You know, these two have the freedom that brothers should have. You know, where me and Sarah or, or Nana and Grammy don't have to watch them constantly. We can let them go off and be brothers and know that they're going to be safe, you know, and they're going to be able to, you know, you know, play like normal siblings should All this and space argue right like normal here? siblings should, you know, and do their thing. That must be an incredible <laughs> peace of mind. It, well, yeah, it gives us, you know, it's, it, we're, we're not afraid to, to you know, stay in bed for an extra 20 minutes in the morning once they're awake because we know that they're going to be safe or, you know, we're not afraid to, you know, do our own things together, you know, knowing that the kids are going to be safe, you know, wherever they are in the house, you know. And That's fabulous. This big space you can, like, drive around in, like, the kitchen was, like, this wide. I know, it was really, you know, Kate's right, it was... Like this big. He was only two he's or three definitely. years old. And he's, only two. He remembers well, probably from watching the episode too. But you know, they he remembers the old house and how limited it was, and I how not safe don't, it was. I yeah, not for safe for all of us. Right, and I don't and think especially not for Louis. That's right, not for Louis, and I I really don't think that Louis would even be <coughs> in the hospital right now. 
if we didn't have this house because every time we tried to bring him home, there was the draft and there, you know, we couldn't get the stretchers in for the ambulance and there was problems after problems. And it just seemed like he was fighting so hard and we were fighting so hard and this house was just killing us, literally, keeping him sick. And, um, How are you feeling these days, Louie? Good. Yeah. This house is better because, like, when you walked in, you were, like, crying so hard because you saw a suction <laughs> on the wall. And, and I discovered, like, two more. And I was like, Mom, look, look at this. I found two more suctions on the wall. <laughs> it was a very exciting day. Isn't How this just so fabulous? So, so, Sarah, whoops, you cried so hard? Yes. Why? <laughs> You're like, and I first well, seen the house. Well, you're like, I'm oh great. my god, she, well, you're like, oh my god, see, in your room, you're like. <laughs> you, didn't even, you didn't even talk when we saw the house for you the first time. You were so excited you didn't talk. No, you couldn't talk then. The doctor said that you weren't going to talk. And you didn't listen to them, did you? Look yeah. at you. You're just amazing. Mom, so maybe we could, but. I in the house, I just. <coughs> Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my gosh! Uh, let's let's right. talk for a second about Angel Boy Art. Now that yes. is um, an organization that you founded before you got the house. Yeah, and that provides free art supplies One. to special needs artists all over the United States. Yeah, no actually, rotating. all over the world. We've actually gone global. We have clients in Canada, England, Australia, and Japan now. Um, so, now yeah. when you first started in the episode, it was really fun. it was only Louis Art. Like, I know, and we had been really trying to get it off the ground and talking with the schools. And I was doing some work in the schools um, with the kids and things like that, but just getting the galleries off the ground was. There just wasn't, a, you know, there's not a lot of people that I have access to. And um, when the episode aired, we just got, I, I think, over 2,000 emails just like that. And everybody, once they heard what we were doing, what Lou and I were doing with Angel Boy, everybody wanted to help. And it's kind of continued on. And every time the episode airs, we pick up more supporters. And we're so grateful for that. I, I think that's probably one of, the, for me anyway, because it's my new life has been Angel Boy Art and I've been running that full time since we got the house and uh, recently went into business, you know, for myself, got my psychology degree and all these things that we you just couldn't do when you were living in the hospital. Right. And that's really what we were doing, but so how does that make you feel knowing when you get those letters from those families? that you have touched and Louie has touched and with his inspiration and his art and just open up that creative outlet so that special needs artists can express themselves through creativity. How does that, that must make your heart just sing. It does, you know, I, I feel like a superhero every time I come home from working for Angel Boy Art because it's, it takes so little money and just a little bit of time to change a, a child with special needs' entire life, their whole perception on who they are and what they can do. And it's so powerful. And I don't think people and parents really realize that. <laughs> like, hug the camera. <laughs> <laughs> are you being a camera hug? <laughs> um, but it's been amazing. You know, and I'm just, I'm just incredibly grateful for the publicity that's allowed us to bring it to that next level. This is fabulous. We are going to be right back with more from the Vitali family. Louis has much more to say, and so does Kate. So join us in a few moments. We'll be right back.